I'm back, bitches. Sorry, I was gone for a while. I had COVID. It was gross. But you know, if these games taught me anything, it's how to deal with suffering. So I'm fine now. Please excuse the mess. Um, it's just a reflection of my life. I missed you guys a whole lot and I am ready to get back into romancing the mob. <laughs> okay, so last time we were here, 84 years ago, we were told that we need to run an errand with Sergio. We're living in his house, like his little apartment area, and he's a little bit flustered by us living there. Uh, What's-his-face ran away and wanted us to go with him, and we were like, nah, son, I'm not trying to have the mob come after me, like, I'm good. And then we got a warning from the other what's-her-face to be careful with romancing Sergio because he's delicate, basically. It's the gist of what she was saying. She was like, this man will fall in love with anyone who looks at him when you're walking down the street, so <laughs> be mindful. The errand we have to run isn't far from the casino. I expected Ira to come with us, but Sergio informs me that she's busy in another part of the city. This errand must not be very dangerous, since only Sergio and I are in the car. The last errand we had a whole crew of men. I guess we aren't going to stir up trouble anywhere. We're in a similar part of the city as last time. I wonder if Sergio has many contacts in this part of town. <sighs> We're here. I'll just be a sec. It's a quick drop off, got it? Got it. I'll hide in the floorboard if there's trouble. You... Sit tight, Cupcake. I'll be right back. Got it. He cracks the window for me and leaves with a parcel. Several minutes pass, and I sit, watching the cars drive by. It's noon, so plenty of people are walking through the streets on their lunch break. I always sat by myself in my apartment, and only went out to run to the convenience store at night, so it's refreshing to people watch during the day. I should have taken better care of myself. Then again, I can't say that this has become an uncomfortable situation. Well, when you become a mob wife, I can imagine it's a very cushy situation. Sergio is kind in his own way, and this day is proving to be entertaining. My thoughts trail back to Sergio's haphazard love confession, and I can't help but laugh. Across the street, I watch a tall man and a shorter woman stop on their walk. They are very fancily dressed. He points to the car and she shakes her head. I can't make out what they're saying, but they approach. The man knocks on the window. I don't have the keys, so I can't roll it down all the way. Little dove. I don't trust him. Hmm? What are you doing locked up in this car? I'm a grown-ass woman sitting in a car. Like... My business is my business. <laughs> it's a bit sad to see a caged bird gazing out at the big blue sky. Again, I am a grown woman. <laughs> I'm fine. I don't like this guy. Not a bit. Little dove? What kind of cheap line is that? Yeah. Like, who calls people that? Cupcake. He was staring at the car a second ago, so he must recognize it from somewhere. What do you want? Who are you? Uh. Come on, Lucy. I don't feel like humoring your playtime today. Um, no. I've I've got appointments lined up for the rest of the day, and God knows you won't help me with them. Well... Just a moment, Ophelia. Lucy. That name is familiar. Lucy... like Lucian? I'm not sure what I expected, but he's not what I imagined. Something seems off about him. I don't like the guy. Me neither. <laughs> Little dove. It's very bad for someone to sit in a locked car. It's dangerous. I, I mean, the car's locked. So how is... That's only because of oxygen deprivation. The window is cracked, see? I'm fine. Bye-bye. Beat it. As I shoo off the man, Sergio returns to the car. He glances at Lucian, and his face twists into a glare. 
The fuck do you want? He definitely hates this guy. That expression. Shit. <gasps> Here we go. Ophelia. Quiet, Ophelia. He turns back to Sergio, his slimy smile wiped away. Sergio. Testy, testy. I was only having a chat with your friend here. Lucian. Yeah? And what'd they have to say? Uh. You've been hissing bullshit in their ear? I told him to take a hike. I'm not interested in whatever he's offering. Looks like he sells potions. Like actual potions. <laughs> Oi, hear that, Lucian? Fuck off. Oh my. Not very friendly. I suppose that's just as well, Sergio. You always did have horrid taste. Now wait just a gosh darn second. <laughs> yeah? Then how come you're fawning over me? Maybe you've got shit taste. <laughs> oh? Are you calling yourself shit? I'd say that's quite an accurate assessment. Hey! What the fuck did you say? Bitch! That's my retirement right there! This asshole's really trying him. Say what you want about me, but leave him alone. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I don't mean to use such crass language in front of strangers. <laughs> I wasn't Little referring... Oh, stop calling me that. I wasn't referring to you, Little Dove. Of course, I'd love if we became closer than strangers. Fuck off. Ugh. I don't care who you're referring to. Get lost. Hmm. What bad manners. Hmm. Horrible manners. Oi! Did I say you could talk to Cupcake? <sighs> Look, dude, I'm trying to defend you. <laughs> but you're making it very hard. <laughs> oh, I see. Cupcake, is it? To think I would hear you call someone such a thing. It almost moves my heart. Lucian. We both know you don't have one of those. Hmm. How rude. I'm getting a bit irritated that you insist upon slandering me in front of the little dove. <sighs> it isn't slander if it's true. Accurate. I guess you wouldn't know about that, though. You've always had a problem with the truth. Lucian pauses for a moment, surveying Sergio. Hmm. Ophelia, it's time to leave. <gasps> Finally, the two of you should get a room. <laughs> Ophelia rolls her eyes and struts away. Lucian follows behind, but not before offering a parting word. Little dove. If you ever grow tired of him, my doors are open. Like, I don't know you! Why would you think that's a tempting offer? I don't know you. <laughs> hmm? Would you like my business card? No! I'll light it on fire. Sure, I'll use it when I light a fire tonight. Lucian frowns at this. He turns away without another word. Thanks, Cupcake. Let's go on home. You got it, man. Back at his apartment, Sergio throws off his coat in a huff and falls onto the couch with a weary sigh. It's just a hunch, but I'm guessing it's from the earlier encounter. I've never seen him get so heated. Aside from when Matteo ran away. Sergio groans, staring up at the ceiling and covers his eyes. I don't want to bring it up, but it looks like he needs someone to talk to. That fight was fairly nasty. Oh, so nasty and intense. <laughs> Seems like the two of them know each other well. Or knew each other well. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Sorry, that's probably a stupid question. You think? I'm just trying to be nice. I'm only trying to be helpful. You don't have to bite my head off. That man from before said his name was Lucian. You mentioned? <sighs> it's hard to talk about, okay? Well, let's, let's do this. Start from the beginning. I'll listen. <sighs> He's... It's hard to explain. Lucian used to work with me. Also, he was my boyfriend. Ooh! Oh, so that's what this is. You gotta swear not to say anything. No one knows about that, okay? So now this man is trying to bait me into a love triangle between him and his ex-boyfriend? That's devious. 
That's some soap opera drama right there. Ira knows, but I trust her. The others can't know about it. They'll, they'll probably <sighs> swear you won't say anything. What, what would what they do? He obviously worked for you. It seemed like at some point he was, you know, part of the team. He couldn't have known there was going to be a betrayal at some point. I assume... <laughs> um, I... Don't you get it? They'll kill me. For what? It's not like you're still dating him. Kill you? <laughs> it's not manly. Oh, oh. I didn't think it was going to go that direction. My relationship with Lucian... I can't lead everyone if they think I'm... Don't you understand? Swear you won't say anything. Swear it. Pinky promises. My guy? All right, I swear. Okay, thanks. He takes a shaky breath. <sighs> I don't remember when it all started. He was always there for as long as I remember. <sighs> then he just threw it all away. Selfish bastard. I don't want to interrupt, but it would be nice if he could elaborate. Threw it all away. What do you mean? I'm getting to it. I mean, he did get one sentence into his story before I started interrupting. <laughs> he falls silent, and I wait patiently for him to continue. But I think that he would benefit from a bit of prompting. Slowly. Okay. So Lucian is your ex, but who was that woman? <laughs> His assistant, Ophelia. His assistant is right. She's an asshole. Just think of the money. Just think of all of the money I'm going to get when I'm a mob wife. Just so much money. I can't help but laugh. It's definitely not appropriate for the situation, but Sergio doesn't seem to mind. He glances at me and grants me a weak smile before continuing. Okay, so you broke up with Lucian, and he hired this other woman. <sighs> I'm not upset about her. I really don't give two shits about her. It's everything he did before. All the bullshit. And then I had to pretend like I was fine, like nothing happened. <sighs> and there he was, living a big time with my money, my work. Selfish bastard. Like I said, Ophelia is just a nuisance buzzing around. I don't hate her, but she's working with him, so... Ah, guilty by association. Lucian? I didn't break up with Lucian. He dumped me. No reason, no warning, just left. I didn't see it coming. He took half my men with him and stole a business. That's fucked up. Who, who would date somebody just for monetary gain? It's, it's fucked up, man. <sighs> The escort service he owns? It's mine! I built it up. I organized it. I... He was always with me, but we were supposed to do it together. <laughs> together. Lucian. He betrayed us. How long ago was this? Like, is this a normal amount of time to still be sad about this relationship? Or are we, like, clinging? <laughs> He betrayed me. Although I don't want to inflict any more pain, it's hard for me to understand all of this through Sergio's tears. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Can't understand you when you're whining like that. Maybe you should tell me the whole story from the beginning. It's too long. I can't. Well, what can you tell me? Tell me as much as you can. It's all right. Let it out. <sighs> it's too much. I can't talk about it anymore. There's very little I can say. What comfort is my apology in this situation? I bite my lip and stare down at my hands. <laughs> There's blood to pay, but I haven't done it yet. I, I, I can't do it. He sounds so broken up about this. He must have really loved Lucian. I don't know much about relationships or what his men would think of this, but this seems really bad. If Lucian stole something from Sergio, then surely the others are angry too. What's holding you back? <sighs> I don't know, maybe... 
Lucian. Maybe I still love the bastard. No. No, you don't. Not anymore. Not, not him. Me. Mob wife. You love me now. And giving me money. <laughs> it's okay if you feel that way. It's normal to be upset about a breakup. I know, but it's... <sighs> My men want me to take revenge. I can't. How the fuck am I supposed to kill someone I love? Angsty. I don't want to hurt him. Calling him names is one thing, but to go and shoot him? Kill him? I can't handle his blood on my hands. Not his. Maybe you don't have to kill him. Maybe there's another way. Just break his kneecaps, you know? Like, give him, give him, give him some concrete shoes, but then make sure they're slip-ons so he can just take them off and, and swim back to the surface. Learn your lesson, bitch. No, you don't understand. These men, there are rules here. A betrayal deserves the ultimate punishment. If I don't do something, the men won't see me as a leader. They'll do something without my permission eventually. And then they'll kill me for being a shitty leader. <sighs> it's... Fuck! I sit back trying to take in all this information. I don't know what to do or how to help him. It's obvious that he'll have to get over Lucian before anything can be done. That's it then. I'll have to help him get over this breakup. It's only the nice thing to do. I see. I don't quite understand everything that's happened, but I'll support you. You probably don't trust me, and we've only known each other for a few days, but I don't think you're a bad man. You've been kind. To you? Just because he's kind to you does not mean that he's a good person. Uh. If we hurt you, you can't pay. See? Okay, you don't always have to make it about the money. Yeah, stop getting so hung up on money, Sergio. I know, but you could have been so much worse. I thought you were going to tie me up and sell my body. I place my hand over his and squeeze. What a tender moment. You just kidnapped me and forced me to work in your casino for free until I pay off my debt. But I mean, you could have forced me into sex work, so... What a great guy. You're so great. <laughs> well... He clears his throat and looks away. <sighs> I wouldn't do something like that. Maybe... Maybe you can help me deal with him. I'm supposed to do it soon. Throw my balls around and act like a big man. Is that what men do? Throw their balls around to show that they're tough? <laughs> His body collapses. <sighs> I'm so tired, Cece. If he's gonna punish Lucian, then it's going to be dangerous. I don't want to hurt anyone over this. Maybe I can convince Sergio to do this without shedding any blood. Cinder blocks. Shoes. Ocean. Bloodless. Or the least amount possible. I'll help as much as I can. I'm not very good with a gun, remember? I guess I'll hold the back in handcuffs. I place my hand on his back, and Sergio's body softens. Huh. Yeah. You might find a good use for those handcuffs. Swing them around and send everyone running. With my luck, I'll whack someone's eye out. They might look better that way. There's so many people that look better without their eyeball, just... <laughs> and you know that. Thanks, Cupcake. I'll try to figure out all of this. I wake to the sound of shuffling in the apartment. As I sit up, I see Sergio's form answer the door. Hey, Cupcake. Did I wake you up? I mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. Ira's here. We've got stuff to talk about. Up, up. Get on up. Okay. But I'm letting you know now, when I'm a mob wife, I'm, I'm going to be sleeping for 12 hours a day. And if you try to wake me up, I'm going to scratch you in the face. Are you okay? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? There's our talk from yesterday, for one. Although, maybe it's best I don't bring it up. So far, it seems like he's in a good mood. Come on. The clock is ticking and shit is moving. We got more business on the table. 
business. As if I'm supposed to know what he's referring to? Nevertheless, I get up from the couch and fold my blanket. Excuse me. It's fine. What's this about? Yes. Actually, that is my question as well. Ira! Oh, so it is Ira. Whoops. <laughs> it's the strayed straw situation all over again. <laughs> I was talking with Cupcake last night, and I think I've got a good idea for how we can get Lucian. Ira is silent for a moment, seemingly running something through her mind. What do you think? What will we do about Mateo? Nah. Never mind him. We'll deal with that later. Lucian's priority one now. I suppose you were right. What's your idea? Yeah. It hit me last night when I was about to sleep. There's a key that'll solve it all. Which is... That pigtailed bitch, Ophelia. Aggressive. The woman who was walking with Lucian? I still don't quite see what he's thinking, but apparently Ira has put it together. Hmm. Are you suggesting we do something to Lucian's assistant? This won't do. That seems like a bad idea. Nah. We're gonna take her. I look between them. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Because if you take her, then maybe you'll fall in love with her and then she'll become a mob wife and I can't have that. I can't pretend to understand everything that's going on, but I'm fairly sure this will make everything worse. Take her? What do you mean? Huh? Kidnap her, hold her hostage, call it what you like. Hmm. Are you sure, my guy? How are you going to capture her? I'll station some lookouts around the city. Lucian thinks it's over, but he's in for a shitstorm. Sergio. This will take a lot of manpower. Perhaps too much. While the others expect something to be done. I got a plan. It's better than rushing in there half-cocked. I suppose that's true. I can't tell if he's serious or if he's bluffing in light of how upset he was last night. Ira wants to discuss the plan, but it seems like his mind is already made up. Ira! Can you get everyone ready for this? Hmm. I'm not sure this will work out. We gotta try something. Can't keep sitting around, you know that. Be more careful. That may be true, however. Come on. Trust me with this. I suppose you were right. Very well. Give me some time to brief everyone and we'll be ready to move. Good! We'll be waiting and ready. I feel like I know which person's going to be kidnapped in retaliation. It doesn't take long for Sergio's plan to move forward. A part of me was hoping that we could have weeks and weeks before anything serious happened, but we can't always get what we want. Hey, Cupcake. Yo, it's time. We've got her. I look up from sorting poker chips at the breakfast bar, a small task Sergio gave me for the afternoon. I'm not sure the proper way to respond. I never supported this plan, but it's too late to try and talk Sergio out of it. Come on. She's down in the lounge. My mind flickers back to the white room where Mateo first brought me. Right now? We're doing this now? Fuck yeah, move your ass. Why am I a part of this? I'm not a part of the mob. I am a kidnappee. Why am I involved in this? <laughs> Let me sort my poker chips and leave me out of it. We make our way down to the lounge. Ira is standing over two hooded, bound figures. The room clears as Sergio and I enter, leaving us to the captives. Oi! Take off the bags. Ira does as bid, revealing Ophelia and another rather angry looking woman. Are you serious? Seriously? You guys? Should've guessed it from the stink in the car. Gross. It was so bad that I wanted to hurl. <laughs> Smelled like piss baby. <laughs> What's piss baby? <laughs> the black haired woman stays silent, but she doesn't look happy. Huh? Who's your friend? She worked for Lucian too? Ophelia looks scandalized. Um, Excuse no. me? I don't work for that train wreck. I work with him, and she's none of your business. Ugh. Now tell me what all of this is about. You can't find a date, so you decide to kidnap us. <laughs> Sad, <laughs> tragic, horrid, really. Ophelia. Is that really the best idea? <sighs> We're tied up. Besides, this isn't my- Oi! 
Ophelia, you should listen to your friend. <laughs> you're not gonna do anything. You're scared to make Lucian cry. God forbid your lovely Lucy would ever hate you. Boo hoo. Well, can't say I blame you though. Whenever he starts in on a pity party, I just want to drown myself. An appropriate response. <laughs> I'm not trying to pick you up. I've news for you, girly. You're gonna help us capture your boss. Are you serious? Is that what this is about? Wow. I joke that you're an ex who just can't let go, but it's even worse than that. You really are just a sad old man. Old? <laughs> How old is she? Sergio ignores her and bends down to eye the other woman. What's your name? Go away. Why the fuck would I tell you after you tied me up and brought me here? Gotcha. Because maybe you want to save your neck. What about that? <sighs> You're not very smart, are you? Huh? Uh... <laughs> Good one. You're pathetic, Sergio. If I were in their position, I would be taking this a bit more seriously. Then again, I've been in their position before, and I didn't take it very seriously. This is true. <sighs> anyway, we don't want to talk to you. Where's Mateo? Sergio stiffens. Huh? Why do you want to know about him? What's he to you? <laughs> That's not your business. He worked for me. It's my business. Yeah. Worked? He's not here? Idiot! No, the little shit ran away. But he won't be running for long. He'll get what's coming to him. The two women look to each other, then turn back to Sergio. It might be my imagination, but they seem to relax considerably. Y'all y'all know this guy? Are you too close to him? Sergio looks annoyed at my question, but doesn't tell me to stop. Um, no. Maybe. Who are you? She looks me up and down like I'm vermin. Just wanted to know. Put him in a holding cell. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Come again? Keep him in separate cells. What? You can't do that. <laughs> really? Watch. Sergio? Yes. I'll take care of it. She takes the two women by their elbows and pulls them out of the room. Sergio and I return to his apartment. I'm not pleased with this decision, but it's better than executing the women on the spot. I mean, what else was he gonna do? Just let him go? Like, oh, you're not gonna help me out with destroying your boss? Darn. Let me take you home now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, chill out. I'm not gonna starve him or anything. Look, I got it all figured out. This is gonna be your new job, taking care of the hostages. I am the hostages. <laughs> I stare at him, trying to gauge if he's joking. <laughs> it's all I ever dreamed of. It's all I ever dreamed. Sarcasm drips from my words. <laughs> cool it, Cupcake. It's temporary. <laughs> Easier than dealing cards, don't you think? Not really. Now I'm responsible for those two's lives. How is that supposed to be easier than dealing cards? Fine. I'll do it, if only to be sure you don't do something stupid. I'm not happy about this, but there's little I can do at this point. Hopefully, I can discourage Sergio's aggression. I've been watching over the women during their stay. While it's not exactly fun to listen to Ophelia shout abuse at me whenever I deliver meals, at least I'm not in charge of cleaning their cells. But Sergio doesn't think it's a good idea to keep the women here any longer than necessary. Nah. We should execute him and be done with it. Agreed. <sighs> I know you don't like the idea, but it's too dangerous. If they get out, they could tip off Lucian. That's not the only choice you have. I mean, it's a good choice. <laughs> like, we're in the mob now. We're gonna have to be okay with these kind of decisions. At the very least, be able to turn a blind eye to these situations and then just go shopping to make ourselves feel better. Yeah. That's never gonna work. No, that's not gonna work, because they'll be like, yeah, we're on your side, totes, and then we let them out. <laughs> they just go straight to Lucian. No. They can't get out right now. We have time to come up with another plan. Damn it, Cupcake, I'm trying. Well, let's keep trying. We can't just execute them. They're more useful alive than dead, right? 
They could be a bargaining chip. <sighs> You're real fucking optimistic, aren't you? I try to be. I'm trying to be your voice of reason, at least. Can you fault me for trying to help keep you out of more trouble? Nah. I know that you're trying to help me, Cupcake. <sighs> but I gotta think of all sides. There's expectations for me. I know, and I said that I would support you. But if you're acting like a dumbass, I'll tell you. Yeah. I know. Okay. Just so you know, you're acting like a dumbass. A hasty dumbass. I know. Sorry. Maybe I should be mob boss. And he could be my mob wife. It's about time to deliver some food to Ophelia and her friend. The fact that I cook for them instead of delivering some kind of porridge shit speaks a lot about Sergio. He isn't feeding them crap or treating them like crap. I think I can persuade him to let them go eventually. He's not heartless or cruel. The women's cells are down in the basement of the building below the casino floor. The women are locked in separate rooms that are comfortably furnished. The only thing that might differentiate these cells from an ordinary room is the open wall barred against escape. Their guards switch every so often, but the women are largely left unattended. I don't know if that's stupidity or Sergio trying to be kind. Maybe both. Ophelia gives me an earful each time I bring their food. Her friend, Allegra, as I eventually learned her name, keeps relatively silent. I can still feel her hateful glare just the same. Huh. It's you again. What'd you bring this time? Greasy food to clog my pores? Exactly. Just rub it directly on your face. Can't you make yourself useful and bring me some facial cleanser? If I'm going to die, I'd like to do so with a clean face. No, that's the exact opposite of what we're trying to achieve here. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Wow. Maybe you can live with yourself looking like that, but I have some standards. And Allegra's going to die if you make her wear that outfit another day. Dummy. What's the point of letting us shower if you make us change into the same dirty clothes? Disgusting. Ophelia. I can speak for myself, you know. Yeah. I know, but you never do. That's what I'm here for. Allegra! You've got to blast it when you're unhappy. <sighs> We're not really in the position to make demands. Allegra's face softens, and she sits down on her bed, head in her hands. I think that if I can reach them, it'll be through her. Ophelia throws insults around like she's commenting on the weather, but Allegra is ordinarily sullen and reserved. Let's start with clothes, because Ophelia wanted products, but Allegra wants more clothes. Like, she wanted products and clothes, but it was only mentioned clothes for Allegra, so... Let's get her some more... clothes. I'll see if I can talk to Sergio about bringing a change of clothes. In the least, we should be able to wash your clothes. Oy. Thanks, but that might be even worse. Damn it. No. I'd rather not have a stranger handling my clothes. Washing, especially. You could ruin the fabric. I understand. I'll see what I can do. Ophelia eyes me with suspicion. Mm. What do you mean you'll talk to Sergio? How close are you? Hmm? He's my boss. I'm... I've been kidnapped. <laughs> He's my boss. I live with him, but it's not a big deal. Did not need to mention that fact. <laughs> Gross. You live with him? Gross. It's not like that. Um fucking strange work environment. Agreed. I can feel myself growing embarrassed. Anyway, that's beside the point. I... I'll talk to him later tonight, alright? Yeah. Whatever. Go back and make out with your boyfriend. Ugh, men are gross. Right, Allegra? Boys are so dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're... Gross. They're gross. Okay, well, I'll talk to him and see what I can do. Back at the apartment, I run the request through my mind. Getting a change of clothes shouldn't be too hard, though I doubt they'll be as stylish as they'd like. Hey, Cupcake. I stop and feel my face grow red. Somehow, thinking back on Ophelia's remarks makes me feel self-conscious about our living situation. I don't know why I'm still living here, as I think Sergio trusts me think. Not sure. 
I guess it could be what he said before. He likes me, right? But Ira warned me that he gets confused. Um, hi. <laughs> hi? What's the matter with you? Uh... Ophelia, say something to you. Do I gotta give her a talking to? I don't want her to be mean to you, Cupcake. She hurt my feelings. <laughs> Go yell at her. Space, friend. I need some space. <laughs> Not that kind of mob wife. <laughs> Put a ring on it first. He approaches and brushes some hair out of my face. As he does so, his hand stops and his face flushes. Uh... Right, so, um... Didn't mean to... Uh, I just thought... I was just trying to... He clears his throat and backs away. I have to smile at how embarrassed he is. It's too cute. I'm okay. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something for Ophelia and Allegra. <sighs> right, right. I wanted to talk to you about that. I gave everything some thought. Yeah. I changed my mind. Oh? I won't do anything to the ladies until we get to Lucian. I won't make any dumbass decisions, won't do anything hasty, won't execute them. Okay? I'm glad you changed your mind, I guess. Sergio blushes and looks away. Yeah. It was... You changed my mind. So, you know, thank yourself. I'm glad that you listened to what I had to say. So I will thank you. For some reason, I can't help myself. I lean forward and press a kiss to his cheek. The effect is amazing, and I regret not doing it sooner. One step closer. <coughs> uh, what was that for? Uh... You don't need to do something like that. Stupid. I know, but I wanted to. You... You drive me crazy. Okay. Again, I'm... Put a ring on it. First. I don't, I don't, I don't do all this. You know that? I don't know what I did to deserve you, but shit. I'm sure happy that I met you. It's been like three days. <laughs> it has been a handful of days. And I feel like I've only been living in his apartment space for like two days. But okay. Ophelia isn't happy with the cleanser I brought, nor is Allegra happy with the change of clothes. But they have to be thankful for my effort. Given how brazen Ophelia has become, it's a wonder that they've stayed here so long without incident. Sergio is really reining in his temper for me. It's already been over a week, yet we haven't heard a peep from the escort service. I expected to hear something about a confrontation, or some reaction from Lucian about Ophelia's disappearance, but there hasn't been a word. Ophelia, aren't you a little annoyed that Lucian hasn't done anything to help you? Um, no. Why would I? I guess maybe he doesn't realize that you're here. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he does. I'm taken aback by this answer. What? Then why hasn't he done anything? He doesn't care. It's a great business partner you have there, ma'am. Yeah. Lucian is an idiot, but he's not so stupid that he can't put everything together. He can figure out well enough why I haven't come back. <laughs> he owes me a paycheck. I won't forget that. Not unless I'm dead. He knows that. If someone owes me money, I'm going to get it. Dummy. And it'll take more than you or Sergio or any of these other dum-dums to stop me. Okay. Then why hasn't he come to help you? Um, no. I already told you. He doesn't care. As she talks about Lucian, I can't help but feel horrified that such a person exists, much less that she works for him. Why haven't you left? If my employer treated me like that, I'd quit. She sighs and rolls her eyes. Ugh. How many times do I have to go over this? He's not my employer. I work with him. Ugh, just forget it. What? Listen, if I'm getting a paycheck, I don't care what you do. As long as your business stays out of my business and we stay in business, I couldn't care less. There's something to be said about her dependability, but... I don't think this is the best attitude for working with someone. Yeah, but don't you resent him? <sighs> if you want to know about Lucian, you should ask Sergio. I keep my distance because I know what happens when boundaries are crossed. What happens? Are you serious? Seriously? Do I have to draw a picture? Lucian uses people. 
You'll be putty in his hands if you don't watch yourself. I've watched so many idiots fall for his act. It's pathetic. Including Sergio? Yeah. I didn't watch it happen, but I've seen them together. You see how he talks to Sergio? Do you think Lucian would risk his pretty little neck for me? I take care of myself. <laughs> Allegra! Right, Allegra? Allegra, who has been listening to our conversation, speaks up. Yeah. Sounds about right. As long as we've been friends, you've never said anything nice about Lucian. <laughs> That's because I want to make sure you don't fall for his trap. And you should be careful, too. She looks back at me. If you want to be stupid and butt into Lucian's business, that's not my problem. But you deserve to have a warning. Don't fall for his crap. You'll be sorry. Thanks for the warning. Ophelia said I should ask Sergio if I want to know more about Lucian. But I don't want to bring up something that upsets him. But maybe it'll help get her on our side. This is probably a stupid idea. While Sergio and I are sitting on the couch in the evening, I broach the topic. I'll be it quite abruptly. What kind of person is Lucian? No sense beating around the bush. Huh? Where's this coming from? I'm just curious. Ophelia was telling me that he's selfish and wouldn't help her, even if he knew she was our hostage. Yeah. Sounds about right. He's a lying bastard. Shitty of me to bring it up, but only talking about it will help him get over it. He took so much from you. I can see that it's difficult for you to talk about him. <sighs> yeah. It's not even about the money anymore. Well, it is to the others working for me. But it's... He... <gasps> he used me. Sergio runs his hand through his hair, struggling to find words. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to love someone so much and also hate them? No, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> His voice breaks, and he covers his face. <laughs> Shit, sorry. It's okay. Don't feel sorry. I'm here to listen. <sighs> yeah, Cupcake, thanks. I hate talking about him in front of you. It's like I'm giving him more power. Like he's taken away this tiny happiness I have with you. He can't hurt you unless you let him. He can't take anything away from you unless you let him do it. And I won't let that happen. Not on my watch. You're right. Yeah. So what do we do about Ophelia and Allegra? I have an idea. Huh? Oh? What is it? Better be good. Ophelia doesn't care about Lucian, and he doesn't care about her. She does, however, care about being paid. If you talk to her about working there, I think we can reach an agreement. <laughs> A woman who counts every penny. Damn, she's after my own heart. Heart, wallet, same, same. <laughs> I think it'll work. We have to try something. Thanks. Good thinking, Cupcake, let's try it. I wrap my arms around Sergio in a tight hug. It's strange to say, but I want to protect him. He could order a legion of men to hurt me, but he wouldn't, because that's the standard. He didn't force us into sex work, and he doesn't order a whole bunch of guys to just come and murder me, so. You know, husband material. I bring Sergio down to the cells where we're keeping Ophelia and Allegra. It would be good for him to talk to them, to try and make a connection. Even though Ophelia works with Lucian, she doesn't seem to care for him. That should be enough to bridge the gap between them. What? What is it now? Ophelia, just listen to what Sergio has to say. Ophelia glares at me as if I've asked her to jump over a skyscraper. Ophelia. Let's humor them. Maybe they'll let us go. <laughs> yeah, and maybe the sky has turned green, and all the people of the world learn to properly moisturize. Ophelia. Close your mouth and listen to them. Um. Fine, I'll listen. <laughs> we want to hit the moonlit lounge. Get in there, take out Lucian, and get out. You're the one who knows the place in and out. <gasps> and why should I help you? <laughs> because I'm not looking to destroy everything. I'm looking to knock Lucian out of power. If we destroy everything, it'll be a pain in the ass to rebuild. Ophelia stops for a moment to consider what Sergio is proposing. Yeah. Fine, but where does that leave me? Whether or not Lucian is there, you'll need some help. That place doesn't run on its own. <laughs> you think those escorts can look decent without a daily intervention? Nah. 
I'm not saying that you'll lose your job. You can keep working there. You keep all your stuff, your apartment, everything. <laughs> but you'll be on my payroll instead of his. Ophelia's eyes slide up and down Sergio's form. <gasps> what cut are you going to give me? Lucy gives me 20% of every appointment. I'll give you 25. 40. <laughs> 30. And I ain't going any higher. <laughs> Deal. But only because I know that you won't be able to pull this off without my help. Which I shall graciously provide. How kind of me, right? I expect you to make good on my raise or there will be hell to pay. Despite the tension between them, Sergio cracks a smile. <laughs> All right, we've got a deal. <laughs> Excellent. I never did like the disgusting perfume Lucian insists on wearing. As long as I have to work with him, I'm inflicted with that scent, and I was just about to lose it. Huh? The lavender one, right? Gross. Yes, he smells like 90-year-old woman. Gross. Guess so. Yeah, never liked that one. Hmm. Oh, one more thing. If we're going to be working together, then do me a favor. Ugh. You have to use some decent eye cream because I am so sick of looking at those dark circles. The second this is all over, I'm bringing over some samples and you're going to do something about them. Sergio, she means well. Does she? Yeah. Right. I'll give it some thought. <laughs> Great, nice doing business with you, I'm sure. It's early in the morning when Sergio tells me to get ready. Since the moonlit lounge is busiest at night, Sergio thought it would be best to strike when everyone is likely asleep. Hey, Cupcake. I want you to come with me. Again, why? Not my business. I am not a part of the mob. I have no combat training. What do you think I'm going to be able to do? Me? Are you sure about that? I need you there to make sure nothing happens. Again, how am I going to do that? Like, what? What am I supposed to do? If anything, I'm just going to slow you down. Nah. You won't be fighting anyone. I just need you there to make sure I... I don't know. Sometimes when I'm around Lucian, I act real reckless. I've got to stick to the plan, and I need you there to help me. What, so I can kick your ass when you need a dose of reality? Yeah, basically. I can do that. It'll be dangerous, but I'll protect you. I'll protect you. And I'll be there as well, to watch your back. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Who's watching Ophelia and Allegra? If I'm with you guys, then someone has to stay back with them. Hmm. A few members volunteered to stay back and make sure nothing happens while we're away. If it so happens that something goes down, I'll fall back and return quickly. Goes down? Yes. A counterattack or some other inconvenience. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Nah. We don't plan on shooting up the place. No sense killing everyone since I want them to work for me. Even if these plans sound dangerous, I'm happy that Sergio has chosen a solution that doesn't involve total destruction. Confront the problem, but use as little violence as necessary. Ophelia drew out a map of the building along with any exits where Lucian might try to slip out. She also gave us her keys so that we can enter the locked building undetected. The plan is... Ten mafiosi? Mafiosi? Ten dudes stationed at each of the three exits, partly undercover so as not to raise the suspicion of passers-by. Yes, because 30 people <laughs> loitering around a single casino is not suspicious at all. Sergio, Ira, myself, and a handful of others will enter the building at the exits and secure each floor. Finally, we will go to the top floor and confront Lucian. Ophelia even wrote detailed instructions on dismantling the security system so that Lucian will not be able to watch us in the halls. That's the plan. We're relying heavily on the word of Ophelia. It might work out, and it might not. I suppose we'll find out if Ophelia really is trustworthy soon enough. That is a lot. A lot of trust. Like, this is... <laughs> The stakes are high on this. This is the very first time we're, we're testing her loyalty. And this is what we're testing it on. Like an oopsie, I guess she wasn't trustworthy. Is us dying? Down in the Mafia Lounge, all of the men assemble. Everyone ready to go? You all got the plan? Let's settle this once and for all. 
The first set of lookouts depart in undercover vehicles. We wait an hour and then move out with the remainder of the men. My heart is racing. I don't know what to think. This is the scariest thing I've done, but somehow I'm excited. Of course I am. <laughs> the thought that I'm able to help Sergio reclaim something and bring down such a terrible, selfish man, that makes me happy. The lobby is silent. The men stationed at one of the back entrances were in charge of dismantling the security system. Guess we'll have to find out what happens next time. I'm sorry. It's been a long, it's been long though. My lungs hurt. I personally don't think Ophelia is trustworthy at all. I definitely think she backstabbed us. I think there's probably a contingency. Like if you get, ever get kidnapped by them, um, just go with whatever plan they have and I'll pay you a bonus if you can get them into the building. I think that'd be great. And then she'd be like, fuck yeah, because, you know, money. <laughs> Anyways, get yourself a good moisturizer and some eye cream, and I'll see you later. <laughs>